Hey guys, how's it going? This is the final video here of uh, how to bore a cylinder at home, and I'll tell you, you need the patience of Job to bore it. I did two cylinders, perfect. They all turned out perfect, but you need the patience of Job to do it. Okay, I'll explain a little bit some of the troubleshooting and things you got to do. This tool will allow 15,000 with this thing, okay, with the hand drill battery power drill okay okay this is the finished bore it's pretty good there might be some marks from my uh, mics checking in there but uh, other than that it's pretty pretty doggone good let me show you the size now these gauges here if you're really doing this be careful these things can be tricky okay Use a bore gauge. Okay. This might vary, maybe about a half foul. Yeah. Make sure you feel that little bit of drag. Okay. A little bit. Right there. See that? Three inch four forty six and a half. We're going to go measure below because that's critical. Make sure you're not tapering. Okay. Make sure you don't have a taper. Let's see if these things are going to behave. Yep. Right there. Put a drag on them gauges. Three inch four forty six and a half. Almost perfect up and down. Perfect size. I, I'd say that's pretty. That's got to be like machine shop quality. Can be done. Like I said, the patience, Job. Now the problem I had with this, okay, was when you start honing with this thing, you think you'll sit there hone and hone. You might have that hone going maybe a minute or two. And you think, wow, the speed on my drill went up and it just feels easier. You'll check it. You may have expanded up to two thousandths, and that, that's exactly what's happening. The heat from you honing, and it's not much. You won't feel it. You'll let that thing sit there for 20 minutes. You'll check it. Shrunk. Okay. That's one of the problems I had. You'll hone it. You'll check it. You'll think, wow, I took a couple thou out. Let it sit 20 minutes. It shrunk. Okay, so that's where you want to take your time when you do this. Um, I suggest you start out with the coarse stones, maybe 80 grit or 40. The 40 might be a little much, depends on how much material you're taking out. Um, but sneak up on that, okay, and go to 80. Then save, I don't know, maybe 3, maybe 2 thou, and go with the 180 stones, okay, hone at the 180, and like I said, that's the problem you're going to have, you think, well, I honed this thing, I checked it with my bore gauge, my bore gauge reads perfect, you'll set the motor down, go to check it, small, okay, that's some of the issues I had, that's why it took, took me a while to do this, I didn't have steady time to work on it, because, you know, things are, you know, crazy, but uh, yeah, so if you have a cone shape like this, you know, we'll just call it this, you want to be careful with that. Check that. Make sure you check in a few places. Make sure you straighten it. Work that hone in that area that's small. Just take your time. Measure it. You, you'll get it. You need the patience of Job, but it can be done. Um, let's see, here's the 20. 20 thoughts a little dirty. I gotta clean this up a little bit. But uh, here's the 20 thou motor. Yeah, when you're done, you need to clean these motors out real good. And one of the things I, I find for uh, cleaning that honing grit off, this stuff here. Wipe that on there, the oil, get a rag and just go, that, oil, that honing grit will come right off with this stuff. Really nice uh, oil. 
So, uh, yeah, I hope that was that was kind of interesting, guys. <laughs> you know, the way the world's going, it's getting like Mad Max. Got to learn how to do everything yourself because the way the economy is, but uh, kind of like on the movie The Road Warrior. When they, said, when they talked about the, uh, what was it, timing cover gear? A couple teeth missing off the timing cover? How long is that going to take? 72 hours. I guess they welded teeth on the timing gear. Uh, welded the cover. Probably had to make all that stuff. I know it was just a movie, but just kind of like apocalyptic times we're going through right now. So you get to kind of like figure out how to do everything yourself. But I thought that was a pretty cool experiment. And uh, okay, guys, next time, keep feeling the heat.